So computational biology is uh, you know, using and developing uh, computer algorithms, computer programs for analyzing biological data. And since it is for biological data, it should uh, take into account the biological uh, intricacies. So, uh, developing algorithms and applying uh, algorithms for solving problems in biology, that is what computational biology is essentially. In terms of work, I, uh, I do two, three things parallelly. One is I keep on developing better and better clustering algorithms. It is a problem which has many, many challenges and with big data, these challenges are increasing. So, I look at those, uh, that area of work. I also develop better and better uh, multi-objective optimization techniques, where you would like, you have multiple objectives and you would like to optimize all these objectives. For example, if you want to go from point X to point Y, you have two objectives immediately, like time and cost. And you cannot optimize both of them simultaneously, you can understand. If you want to optimize the time, cost will go up. If you minimize cost, time will go up. So, how to tackle problems like these? And if you have many such objectives, then what do you do? What are the algorithms? So, I try to concentrate one part of my work and the third part of my work is of course, computational biology. I try to develop better algorithms for, uh, for analyzing biological data. You see the uh, biologists, the experimental biologists will have to actually go back to their labs and do certain you know, tests, validations and uh, they have to do the actual work. Now, for them, there is too much to do, there are too many possibilities and therefore, computational biology often helps to narrow down the possibilities to experiments which are likely to succeed, getting rid of experiments which are unlikely to succeed. Biologists, they have a huge number of possibilities to look at, so I often say that they are looking anyway for a needle in a haystack. Many of our methods actually make predictions, thereby eliminating a lot of that unnecessary haystack. Secondly, uh, with these computational biology methods, you can make certain predictions and then using these predictions, you can take these predictions further. In fact, uh, even if you think of uh, drug design, for example, okay, designing small molecules which will uh, act as drugs inside the body, there are many things here which you can just do on the computer. Once you have designed a more or less probable molecule on the computer, you can actually then synthesize, the biochemists can actually synthesize and then they can experiment and see whether it is doing what it is supposed to do. So, therefore, computational methods, computation, uh, computer algorithms have become now indispensable because of the uh, also the huge complexity of the problem, not, not only the complexity, but the amount of data that is generated by routine experiments in biology. It has become impossible to handle it uh, by a human being. One has to use these computational methods. I have a part of my research concentrates on uh, designing new molecules which can target different proteins. These proteins are playing important roles in let us say some disease pathways. So, if you can target these proteins, you have a hope of arresting the disease. These small molecules that I, uh, that I predict to be possible uh, lead molecules, uh, these could be looked at. So, that is a commercial aspect is these could be looked at and if some of them pass certain levels of tests, then these could lead to uh, some drug molecules. So, that is one part of my work. The other part is uh, my algorithms. They come up with genetic markers of different diseases. With this, it could help to stage a disease. For, for example, it could help in staging different cancers by the presence of certain biomarkers. In terms of the future of computational biology, what excites me is it will be possible to look at, let us say, the genetic makeup where you can find you know some specific markers, some mutations which show predisposition of that person to certain diseases and you can take corrective action. And then at the genetic level, you can do something, uh, you can design anti-sequences which can be totally designed in the laboratory and uh, synthesized and then these could be used as p potential blockers of a disease or um, even for drug design, the medicine is going to become more and more personalized because of these methods which are coming up. Mm -hmm. So, that is what uh, would be uh, or that is where it is going 
the res research on computational biology and biology in general. One thing is uh, each person should be free to pursue whatever one he or she likes. That is one thing. But uh, for encouraging girls into STEM, uh, science, technology, etc., uh, what is important is from the very childhood. You know, there are gender stereotypes. Even in the books, as a child which we study, the books have very stereotypical pictures. The mother cooking at home, which is fine, no problem with that. The father driving the car. But there should be other pictures also, the woman driving, the father cooking, etc. So that whoever wants to cook can cook, whoever wants to drive the car can drive. Uh, you see, I mean, there should not be stereotypes. So if these things change and then let the people do whatever they like to do, I'm sure many girls would be uh, interested and would find their strengths in these areas. And also role models, of course, role models are always important, necessary that uh, see this uh, woman is uh, or came from background just like mine, yet if she can do it, then I can do it too. So these are the things, the women have to change, the families have to change, the men also have to change. So it needs a lot of change, but things are happening. The Infosys Prize uh, per se, it means that people, people acknowledge that what I have done carries some value. That is the most important message that I get through this. And I know that the Infosys Prize goes through a very, very critical reviewing process. And therefore, uh, it, my work has been looked into in and out. And after that, if I have won the award, it just means that what I have done has some value and that is what is the happiest thing to realize. We do our work uh, to the best of our abilities. I'm sometimes not sure if it is really being used or uh, people appreciate it. But this sort of prize, emphasis prize in particular, which I know is very thorough, it gives me that uh, happiness that okay, maybe what I've done has, has weight, has, has value. That is what is most important to me.